And let me tell you, I need her so much. She is my life now. And, uh, and, and I thank God all the time for her. But you must know that I promised to go very slow. I wouldn't even try to hold her hand until she wanted. So I could not, but I was the first one to tell her how I really felt about her in our very first letter. Yeah. Uh, official proposal, I did twice. Yeah. Twice? You had to do it twice. Well, the one time was at the hotel yeah. um, when I asked her if she would marry me, and she said she would. And uh, then, I, knowing this, I had to go back to the United States to get some papers together because of my previous wife. And when I came back, I had a ring. Oh, oh no. no, I put I had, I had uh, an engagement ring, a yeah. diamond ring for her. And at the airport, because our daughters were there, yes. I got down on a knee and right asked her, yes. right in yes. the airport, yes. asked her in Ukrainian, which yes. the stewardesses yeah. on the airline <laughs> helped me to learn. <laughs> it would be a big surprise for me. Uh, if she would marry me. And I, she said yes, and I put the ring on. I think she said yes, just because she was embarrassed and wanted me to <laughs> But either way, it worked. Yeah. And I put the ring on her finger, and uh, it, it was official. Yeah. Great. That's beautiful. For her birthday, which was December 2nd, uh, we decided to go to Rome. I wanted to go. And we thought, this is perfect. It's a quick little trip. We could take the girls and see how they liked traveling. Because our goal in life, or mine at the time, was, well, we got some pretty sizable you know, young ladies here, we could travel all over Europe together and just start spending time traveling. Um, so we thought this would be a good test to see how they handle flight, because they've never been on uh, travel, going to new exotic places, etc. So we went to Rome, and while in Rome, I think it was the second or third day we were the second day? Uh, no. Third? Yeah. Okay. About okay. the third day, uh, she woke up and said, um, I think maybe you should go to the pharmacy and and get a test, mm -hmm. a pregnancy test. And I kind of looked at her with, uh, like most men in the world would look at a woman, especially when you're my age, uh, like, what? <laughs> okay. So I went for a walk that morning, found a pharmacy. I think I bought two <laughs> sets. <laughs> And uh, we sat and we sat on the sofa, and she she read it. I read it. And said it takes ten minutes to tell. Uh, I think it was how many minutes did it actually take? Um, I think not one. <laughs> <We don't. laughs> it was pretty quick. There was no doubt. And she came out, and I must admit she was a little bit nervous to tell me. Mm -hmm. uh, but I tell you, you know, God knows what we want and what we need long before we do. And when I when she told me at first, I was a little, well, that's going to change things. <laughs> but I couldn't be happier. And even now, she still says sometimes, you know, you wanted to travel, and now we have a baby. And I said, so what? I have a baby. I, you know, I mean, what could, what's more important than these children? So now I have to admit, Dave, from the last time I saw you, and now, completely different person. I mean, you can't stop smiling. I, I, well, this is why, look, uh, right. you know, I mean, like I said, God took one daughter and my wife and he gave me a wonderful wife and three daughters. Mm -hmm. Join men from all over the world as they take a trip and find their future brides. Interested? Check out our website at... Don't forget to click on our red subscribe button and notice bell to get updated every time we add something new.